In this video, we'll look at how to show that two functions are inverses. First, two functions, f and g, are inverses if f composition g of x is equal to x and g composition f of x is equal to x also. Now, if you use this notation, this is the same thing. It says f composition g of x is equal to x, and g composition f of x is equal to x. So our first example, we're asked to show that f of x, which equals 1 third x minus 3, and g of x, which equals 3x plus 9, are inverse functions. So we need to find both f composition g of x, and we need to find g composition f of x. And if those are both equal to x, then the functions f and g are inverse functions. All right, since we're um, starting here with f composition g, I need to start writing my f function and every place where I see an x, I'm going to sub in my g function, the whole expression. So I have one-third times and then minus 3. So in place of x right here in this space, I'm going to write my g function, which is 3x plus 9. Now simplifying here, we can use the distributive property. One third times three x is just x. One third times nine is three. And then I have this minus three on the end. So this is equal to x. Then I need to find g composition f, which means I need to put my f into the g function. So I'll start writing my g function, which is 3 times, and then in place of x, I'm going to put my f function, and then continue writing plus 9 here. So in place of x here, I'm going to write this expression, 1 third x minus 3. Now I can distribute again, 3 times 1 third x is x. And then 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And then I have my plus 9 out here in the end. These cancel, and I get x. Since both f composition g of x is x, and g composition f of x is x, then f and g are inverse functions. Let's do another one that's a little bit more challenging. Here we're asked to show that f of x equal 1 over x minus 3, and g of x equals 3x plus 1 over x are inverse functions. So again, we need to find f composition g, and we need to find g composition f. Now I'm not going to write that because this may take a little bit of room. I need to put g into my f function. So my f function is 1 over, and then in place of x, I'm going to write my g function, 3x plus 1 over x, and then I have 3 subtracted from that. So this right here is my g function. Now I'm going to uh, need to simplify this complex fraction. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x to uh, cancel off this x that's in the denominator here. So this will be, in the numerator I'll have 1 times x, which is x. In the denominator, when I distribute my x, this x and this x cancel each other off, and I just have the 3x plus 1. 
and then distributing my x here to this term, I have minus 3x. Um, positive 3x and a negative 3x, those cancel each other off. And I have x over 1, which is just x. So everything's good so far. Now I need to find g composition f, which means I want to put my f function into my g. So I'll start writing my g function. It's a fraction. In the top, I have 3 times x. I'll leave that space there for my f function. And then I have plus 1. And then in the bottom also, I have uh, leave a space for my f function. So in place of each of these, now a lot of times students will forget to uh, sub in for one or the other. So you need to make sure you put your f function in both spots. So 1 over x minus 3 goes here. And 1 over x minus 3 goes here. So let's um, go ahead and multiply this 3 into this fraction. That will give me 3 over x minus 3. And then plus 1. And then in the bottom I have 1 over x minus 3. To simplify this complex fraction, I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by x minus 3. And that's over 1, so I can see that I'm going to be able to cancel those. This one also, x minus 3 over 1. So in my numerator, I'm going to distribute the x minus 3. When I multiply it here to the first term, the x minus 3's cancel, and I have just 3. And then when I multiply it here by the 1, I just have x minus 3. On this one, the x minus 3's cancel, and I have just 1. Um, simplifying here, I get Let's see, positive 3 and negative 3 cancel. So I have x over 1, which is just x. Since both f composition g is equal to x and g composition f is equal to x, then f and g are inverse, func inverse functions.